All right, here's my brief, very brief um, review on Double O Gundam. Uh, I don't think I ever did a talk review for it. Um, be real quick though. Um, this is my first model I made after the four year time skip. <laughs> my first one was Heavy Arms Custom, which I might actually do a review on, but it's old and dusty. But anyway, painted this one to Maya, almost the same color as blue red. I actually painted this white, um, matte white to Maya paint, of course, and it came out real nice. But sometimes I like the actual white of the plastic so I left that alone on some of my other models but this one is painted I painted the orbs clear green right here clear green and I painted the jewel in his head clear red um, this is the double O one one hundred no grade so you know it comes with the LED um, GN drives and it comes with the GN daggers, which I don't believe was ever on the show, but they're really hot. Um, you can turn the GN daggers into a shield, which I'm not going to do right now, or probably ever will. <laughs> um, it comes with one saber. This actually, this light saber um, or beam saber uh, add-on right here. This came from my Destiny uh, Gundam. Uh, but it looks a lot better. It has a little ripple lines on it and stuff like that. Um, comes with the GN Sword 2s, I believe they're called. GN Sword 2. Yeah. One or two. Probably GN Sword 2. Um, usually back here there's two sabers, but of course the other one's over there. Um, jet, little jet thingies in the back. Uh, the jewel. V fin all the rest of the good stuff very good model uh, I think I'm gonna try to grab the O riser for this um, if not I might wait until they make a master grade but you know money wise I'll probably get up wait until the um, I would just get the 1 100 O riser um, I painted the orbs over here green it looks real nice um, if y'all don't mind looking at the floor for a while. Actually, give me a second and let me turn the LEDs on. Uh, you can look at the box. I'm still here, but it just takes a little bit to reach to the um, little switches on the bottom. Alright, so what you have is right here on the bottom, there's a little switch and that little switch turns the GN drives on which is real cool it's the CR1220 batteries which like are like four dollars a piece which is a total rip off but I was looking around the other day on the internet and then it seems like there's other models that use that other Gundam models so I guess you know that that's a tradition of Van and I trying to get us turn off the light and look the GN drives all lit up so sexy definitely worth the 37 bucks that I got it from Gundam store and more real real nice um, great model go out and get it if you can't wait for the master grade I don't know if the master grade I have the LED lights but this is definitely worth it as a uh, gimmick see the bunny ears gimmick um, very great model and let me turn the lights back on uh, great stand. I'm gonna do a mini stand review. You know these things look way smaller in the picture when I really when I first got them. These things are huge, man. Like here's my phone. I guess you can kind of see my phone as the see how big it is. But really funny. I did not know it was gonna be this big. But really nice. Has a little nameplate thing I put on there. Nothing's there yet. Um. So this is a pretty good model. I will make some more. Don't forget to go to my blog at mrcatcomds at blogspot.com and give me an email if you like my review. Subscribe and five star me. Thanks for everything and Seacrest out. <laughs>